And here is some more video from Sky 12 today showing a driver in Desert Hills just south of Anthem where he almost drove into a flooded road right there before backing up and avoiding getting his car flooded. And as you can see in that video, today's rain and floods could leave you filing a claim with your insurance later this week because of damage to your property, especially to your car. Yeah, but not all flood damage is equal. So here are five critical things that you need to know and look for when it comes to your car. First things first, of course, do not try to start your car. Doing so will send the water further into your your engine and other components of your vehicle and the damage could be extensive. And second, look for the high water mark. This will give you an idea of the level of damage. It will usually be clear on both the exterior and interior. Another clue is whether there's moisture inside your headlights or your taillights. Number three, thoroughly inspect the interior of the car. Look for mud or dirt underneath the dashboard and pull back the carpeting. A musty mildew odor is a clear sign the car has been compromised by flood water. Number four, check your engine oil. Clear the dipstick, then check your oil level. If there's water droplets on your dipstick, then that means that there is water in your engine and you'll need to change your oil and filter. And finally, if you see any of these signs of heavy flooding, have your car towed and taken to your mechanic for a professional inspection. Again, you do not want to try and start that car yourself and risk further damage to your vehicle.